Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. September 16th, Matt Kruger. Matt Kruger was a hard driving accountant, and he was still a very young man when he had a close encounter of the God kind, and it changed his life forever. Here is his story. You can't fight an enemy you don't know exists, and you can't fight a battle you don't know you're in. The nurses kept coming back. The results must be wrong. They ran the test three times. With normal cholesterol levels around 100 to 150, they could not believe that healthy 18-year-old Matt Kruger's was over 400 he was a candidate for coronary artery disease. For Matt, it was just business as usual. Keep on drinking because life is short. Matt was too busy getting on with his life to let a medical test interrupt his wild lifestyle. He was in great shape, playing sports, and he just shrugged off the results and ignored God. He was having too much fun to be bothered with church in a relationship with God. A few years later, Matt returned to the doctor and had a heart scan. So much plaque had built up in his arteries that the doctor warned him that he would need immediate surgery. He could have a heart attack or stroke at any moment. The shock overwhelmed him as he came face to face with his mortality. The fear of dying during surgery totally consumed him. He thought to himself, what would happen after I die? Where would I go, heaven or hell? The thoughts tormented him, and he put off the surgery. But Matt's fear of death began to wreak havoc on his marriage. He could only focus on himself, and his wife Marina was left on the outside. She felt like she couldn't meet his expectations. His fear and anxiety was becoming a wedge between them. Where was all this headed? In desperation, Matt followed Marina's leading and started going to church and listening to Christian radio. Finally, the fear became too much for the whole family, so he scheduled the surgery. The surgeon was successful in opening up Matt's arteries, but his fear of dying only got worse. Any pain he felt, he thought was a sign of a heart attack, until one morning it finally all came to a head. Matt said, Yesterday, after I was planting a tree, I thought I experienced pain in my left shoulder and arm. Again, Fear swept in. Anxiety and paralysis took hold of my mind that morning. I thought this was the big one. This time, however, Matt's fear turned to strength, determination, and resolve. Falling on his knees, Matt gave his life to Jesus. He said, If this was really a heart attack, I asked Jesus to save me in the life to come. And if not, I pledge my belief in him in this life as well. The pain left, and at that moment, an overwhelming peace and a fighting determination welled up in Matt. He finally stood up to the bully that had been hounding him for years. Matt said, I remember in my prayer that day literally telling the devil to go pick on someone else. I finally knew who he was, and I was finished with allowing him to torment me. It was no longer about Matt. It was about Jesus. His battle with the enemy's condemnation was over. His struggle with the fear of dying ended when his knees hit the sidewalk that morning. Matt's past life of running from God ended, and his new life in Jesus began. Marina was the first to notice the change. She said, he became selfless. Matt has a heart for God and a heart to serve. He is 110% opposite of who he used to be. Today, Matt and Marina have a strong marriage and family. He lives for serving Christ and sharing his testimony in word and music, standing up to the enemy and standing for Christ. 2 Peter 3.9 says, The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. You can't fight an enemy you don't know exists, and you can't fight a battle you don't know you're in. 
Oftentimes in life, if ignored, fear and anxiety can build up and cripple even the strongest men. Be encouraged that God will fight your battles for you. Turn to Jesus, put your faith in him, and he will renew your strength. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. Hebrews 12.1 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Join us tomorrow for another story at 365christianmen.com.